gentlemen, boys and girls, the show that you've been anticipating, Media Cartel. Hit us up, Media Cartel, Mix Show at gmail.com. All other platforms, just hit Media Cartel, and you in there. You heard me? That's how you get in and get down. And if you want to be a part of the clan, the mob, you. excuse me, let, let me back that up. I didn't mean to say I'm grooving with the Poison Clan. That's why I heard that. Because I was playing that earlier this morning. Uh, if you want to be down with the, the mob, you know what I'm saying, hit us up. That's how you get in. But in the meantime, between time, as we always do, we give you the flavor in your ear that you need to know because some people just don't know what the fuck going on. Mm. Now, what I want to know, because I don't know what the hell going on, what's up with all these uh, celebrity pop-up basketball matches? What I mean, your boy uh, Gucci just went to the hood, you know. Of course, he got his filming crew. That's that's why I sometimes wonder if it's authentic. But you know, he uh pop up to to the hood and uh yeah that's what I'm and, and do a, it, that's what I was saying because it's so many now it's like how it, how authentic are they right you know what I'm saying and, and now Gucci's own thing a little more authentic because he was at a outside street park playing you know what do you call it pickup you know mm. you know basketball you know Gucci already got his uh you know he already got basketball skills anyway so you know a couple of the highlights of the game. And they saying, I know, I see, pop up, you know, uh, hooping. It's a uh, Quavo. Uh, 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 what's your what's your white boy? Uh, Justin Bieber. Yeah, now nah, he can play. And, uh, yeah, Bieber can play. Yeah, yeah. See and, that? Uh, see, he, that's that's it. The, when they did the, the Super Bowl, right? They had the Slayer basketball, and usually Chris Brown and Justin Bieber always playing it. Uh huh. And both of them could play real good. Right. But uh, neither one of them was in it. So I was like, well, how, how I think it was it? Because then their captains was girl from uh, Love & Hip Hop was uh, one one captain and somebody else was a captain. I was like, well, how, how I think it was this one? Mm. Mm. So I don't know these niggas. It, but a lot of shit in Miami that happened during the Super it wasn't, it didn't go like it went when it, like it, went when it was in Atlanta. It was yeah, like it was everything. Almost- but see, that's like somebody didn't pay the right uh, tax or something. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, Shit well, wasn't... what I have, and I, I'm not quite sure, but I'm, mm-hmm. I'm agreeing with you on that mm-hmm. because you know how every uh, memorial we would go to Bike Week, mm-hmm. South Carolina. Yeah. A couple of years we went down to they do something like that in Miami, but it's not necessarily geared just towards bikes. You know, it's not like a Bike Week, mm-hmm. but the whole point they still do it that Memorial Weekend. But all the events are all over. And, you know, Miami is spread out. It's not yeah. just, you know. So uh, I, I guess that's just how it operate down there. I don't I don't know. But, yeah, I, I did notice that pattern also. Yeah, because, uh, for instance, the, um, oh, I did figure out what was going on with the, uh, the uh, remember with the, you, so we got to, we got to, we definitely got to mention this because we kind of reported it wrong. Uh the stripper thing. Stripper thing? The stripper bowl. Right. Stripper bowl, yeah. Uh, well, the reason why the girl was grabbing the bag of money, uh-huh. I don't know what what happened, but it was, it was. Uh, we'll put it this way. It could have been, remember how we talked about black people agree to something and try to change the deal later? Yeah. Could have been in that type of situation, but whatever it was, QSC, Q, QC, Q, QC, QSC, yeah. QSC, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Quality super control. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Stop it. Uh, QC. Uh huh. Um, whatever it was, they, they didn't have the power they didn't have when it was in Atlanta. Right. So whatever the club they they got, they didn't have the or they didn't put the money back because remember when they did in Atlanta, it seemed like they put more money into it because but at the same time they had product that was coming out. Right. They hadn't had a lot of product coming out in a minute. Right. So. They had Migos that was putting out a, 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 a something. Cause remember, they even and did a song they the, for. Then they had the co- and, com- compilation album. Yeah, yeah, and they was put, so they was putting. They didn't, didn't have that this time, so maybe they didn't feel like they should put any money into the true board. But whatever, the club they had it in, mm-hmm. were, they allowed the girls to come. But right. the thing was, they 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 would pay the girls $1,000 a piece, whoever they picked. Right. But they couldn't take any money off the floor. So it was That's easy. crazy. Well, I mean, to them, they felt like they 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 would take it or leave it. That's uh, you want a thousand dollars, or you, uh, or the girls didn't like it, but they changed the games. They gained the control. I, I mean, Super Bowl okay. weekend, it wasn't a regular weekend, right? So I guess the clubs say, I guess all the business was thinking we should be making half a million dollars to a million dollars. 
So, uh, uh, okay. And, and so that's why the girl was trying to grab it. She felt like, even though she agreed to it, she felt like she wanted all that 50000 or whatever was on. She wanted that money. And in I'm that guessing, case, I, but, but I, you agreed to it. So you can't change the shit out well, of the fact. Uh, well, you shouldn't. Have, well, that was a bad business move on her behalf. I ain't, I'm I'm not even a stripper or a pimp, but uh, let's do the math. Mm -hmm. you, you can make over a thousand on a, any given weekday. We ain't even talking about a weekend mm -hmm. for a good, a decent stripper. Mm -hmm. Now you talking about Super Bowl weekend? You telling me I can only get a thousand and I can't get the tips? That's stupid. You you committing murder to yourself. You putting a gun to your head. Oh, I didn't say it was. A no, good no, no, no. I, no, I, of course not. I'm, I'm just, yeah. you know, vocalizing it. They, you know, they couldn't see the the, the facial expressions. I was like, bitches, you ignorant yeah. or just stupid. But, but uh, uh, yeah. and when and what happened was, um, what brought up the controversy about the whole thing? While we find out, because everybody was just laughing about the girl trying to do this and that, was, uh, apparently, uh. Uh, uh, the strip, one of the, the, the couple strippers, like five or eight of them, uh, they were stranded in the airport. They didn't have no way back home. Oh, damn. And they was claiming that they didn't get paid by QC. Bo -bo 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 -bo. And then your boy had to come out and was like, hey, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. We ain't got nothing to do with that. That's, we, that was, we let the club handle the hiring and all that. We didn't. Right. And, and he said what the deal was. And he said, now, nah, that's what happened. Nah, I ain't got nothing to do with that. We just paid the rent. To do our thing now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that was that. That's a stupid uh. That was a stupid uh bargaining deal if, if for all the hoes that took it. Yeah. We need a. Oh, let me stop. I ain't gonna go there. All right. Uh, we, <laughs> thank you for re re reporting and uh, yeah. re recorrecting what I I misreported. Yeah, we had to change that up. So. Right, right, right. Um. Uh, what's your girl? Uh, future's uh new chick. Uh, 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 Lauren. Isn't she yeah, Lori. Harvey. Lori Har Harvey. Oh, okay. Uh, she got carjacked in L.A. Mm. Pulling into a, 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 you know, a garage. Mm -hmm. Cat did uh did the sweet scam move on her, but uh she had she had a little bit of G in her, not much, but a little bit of G. Yeah, but you then know? we gotta keep evaporating. Gotta gotta keep it. She had to evaporate. Gotta evaporate. <laughs> So uh yeah she uh they can say got to evaporate. So yeah she uh they were trying to jack her. She kind of fought fought him off a little bit, and then I think she was like, "Fuck that, bitch! At least give me my motherfucking cell phone." If you taking this goddamn uh half a million dollar goddamn what was that a uh, Rolls Royce truck or whatever, goddamn at least give me my motherfucking cell phone. So she got a phone and she she flexed out and they flexed out with the with the rover and stuff, but uh. As of now, uh, my understanding, she is, she is okay. There's nothing, uh, you know, that she was not harmed. See, that's the thing I don't ever understand. It's like these motherfuckers out here playing the game all fucking wrong, especially in Atlanta. I would have never played the game like that, and I didn't play the game like that when I here, because I remember when 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 I, when I had my when shit was straight up, rammed up, whatever, right. Causing attention, and, and you know, you all, you know, your lady always going to drive your shit, you right? Know, little, little frog. I, I never let her drive it. You know, even to the gas station. Mm -hmm. But if I did, when I did let her drive it, like me, and my homeboy, we'd be stacked up in another car behind, and then she'd right. be in with the girl, and we, you know, follow to make sure every, everything good. We yeah, we go back to back like that, right? Because niggas, niggas hungry. Mm -hmm. Shit gonna happen, right? Exactly. I mean, I knew that here. So, I mean, how you not know that in Atlanta that you can't drive around half a million dollar truck and expect some shit not to happen? <laughs> well, apparently, you know, uh, I mean, everybody, everybody. I mean, she looks she didn't get killed because this motherfucker done got killed for less than that. For less I, than I mean, that. Truck, a car, a car is just worth le way less than that. So I don't understand how you think you can drive around in, in a, a car that expensive and, and it, like, and not, it, yeah. it'd be ob oblivious. Right. Well, I mean, from my understanding, we're not talking about like she driving around L.A. in Beverly Hills somewhere, right? This would, 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 I ain't saying they can't get touched, but I'm saying it's more normal. I mean, you see expensive cars in Atlanta, but niggas gonna be on their shit, is what I'm saying, right? Yeah, you see the same expensive got, cars, <clears throat> but you be on your shit. Got to keep your head on a swivel, is niggas see a woman driving a fuck. Yes, they'll do it to a nigga, but yeah. what do you think they'll do to her? The I don't. Woman, yeah, yeah, she yeah. was lucky. Yeah, exactly. 
uh, Neo and his wife are splitting. Uh, Crystal, I think is her name. Uh, gosh, I don't even know how many years they've been in it. But, uh, Couple years. Yeah. Not long. Oh, okay, I thought it was longer than that. Mm-mm. Was, I thought it was way before the child. No, because remember when he was for the bi- married a baby mama? Oh, so this not the baby remember mama? They, I never watched it, but remember when they had that little show? No, he he, he left her for her. The other oh, okay. girl, and, he, and she didn't even know it, and she just found it, like she read it, like she, she right. they, oh, he, that he getting married. Oh, okay. Damn, I, I thought this was the baby mama. I didn't watch the show, but I remember okay. it was a big thing. And then, well, apparently... Uh, and he caught a lot of... Black from that people I'm, like fuck Neo, you uh, know because he's an RBC. Yeah, yeah, Women yeah, didn't yeah. like that. True. Well, uh, well, they, it it lasted how how long it lasted, but uh, the relationship is coming to an end. Mm. So they are splitting. Um, it's a it's a uh, after the Super Bowl, your your girl with J Lo and um. Uh, uh, what's what's the little chick, Spanish chick? Oh my, yeah, yeah. Shirana, Kiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Anyway, the fine, still fine. The little Spanish, yeah. uh, Shakira. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. How about mm-hmm. this is white, and I'm being I'm being very stereotypical, and I'm I'm just blatantly saying it. Rip ain't even got to say it this time. Mm. Oh, stupid ass, fuck ass, white cracker. Mm. Talking about he want to sue the Super Bowl because uh, that's inappropriate uh, show and dance uh, in a, on a public scene. He came to the game to watch the Super Bowl, not to see J Lo and her do pole dancing. So therefore, he has to what in the face? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, 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 that's gonna be a lawsuit. You just wasting <laughs> yeah. your damn money, your money and your goddamn time. Well, I know. Uh, the 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 well, I don't know what's the word for it. I guess you could say the well the spiritual community community uh-huh. immediately made post about it, but they're not suing or nothing yeah. like Billy Graham and. But it's not the first time that they yeah. complain about. The, Don't watch it the when the halftime show come on. Take your ass in the kitchen, make you a sandwich. I the, 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 kneel on your knees and pray. Then truthfully, I don't even think they did watch it. <laughs> My whole point is one. This. It wasn't that exciting. I mean, I didn't even watch it, and I'm pretty sure they probably didn't either. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I, I, when it be stupid shit like that, it, oh, and and the, bruh, you you knew it was a halftime show. You knew it was secular. No matter who was on there, if it's infringing on your lifestyle or your religion, mm. go make you a sandwich during halftime. Uh, you just get the fuck out of the facility, you know. If goddamn, if it was a gunplay, mm. and I'm not talking about the artist, if mm. it was guns involved, mm. and you saw a gun, if that same cracker saw that gun mm. come out in a restaurant, what the fuck you gonna do? <laughs> get the fuck out. Yeah. So he had to like evaporate. He, that's what he gonna do. Evaporate yeah. like a muffler. Um, my th- <laughs> my thing is we got to get to that one. My thing is me and you done plenty uh, concerts, big outdoor concerts. With thousands of people, right? And we most of like when they do family back events, we know how they do. I mean, it's we like this money, but it's a long day. But they always start early with the the, the gospel, the church stuff is beginning of the day, right. early in the morning, and, and then go yeah. to what about twelve or one, yeah, and then it moves on and all the keep gospel going, yeah. singers, the preachers, the different preachers, the the the, the whatever they got going on, and all the church people come early and, and, do, and do the thing. And then after that, you have the, not necessarily the young crowd, but the secular. Like you said, secular yeah. dancers, singers, or whatever come on. And it's never been an issue. Yeah. It's never an issue. The, the, once again, make your sandwich, you get the fuck go. Mm. Uh, that's, uh, I don't even want to give him no more credit. I hope they sue his ass. Uh, uh, I'd have sued Jay Z for that boring ass shit. If that's what they, if that's what his job was supposed to be, yeah, he fucked up that job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Mr. Snoop Dogg says he uh, he didn't threaten uh, Gail King, but he did come back and say he apologized for the uh, offensive language that he used, and he was raised better than that. Uh, he uh, and fuck that hoe. Nah, I mean, you know. She is a a, a, a a stable journalist, and she 
even went before all this went down, she came on and she said that the station even took it out of content. Here they, we go. They, uh, I mean, but I haven't saw the whole interview, but they pulled that clip. And oh, I seen else. that interview. She ain't even brought up, uh, man. She can get her ass in the cage with Oprah. Okay, well, Fuck give her, shit. give it to her then. Going down like the Titanic, God damn it! Yep, that's, um, that's that cruise ship. <laughs> it's going down. It's going down. Speaking of going down, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Vice President uh, trying to be President Joe Biden. Man, this this cracker right here. What he what did? He, these motherfuckers got me hot. What he, he did? He uh, in a town hall rally. The lady asked him a legitimate question. I miss this. Um, uh, damn, I'm trying to. See what was uh how can you explain the performance uh your performance in uh Iowa and why should voters believe that you're you should be the next national elected president? No, this, you know what he said. What? He said, first of all, <laughs> um the fiasco and I'm paraphrasing, so the the F up in in Iowa was uh just terribly on their behalf. And it, it kind of was. And, which it was. <laughs> but here, this is where the insult comes in. But you, my lady, you're a lying face pony soldier. <laughs> what? Exactly. Was she, was she a Native? I mean, not Native American. Was she no, a, a she Native, was a white, uh, oh. white lady. And, 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 and What the fuck is a lying dog face pony soldier? I, is this a, a, a slur against? Is, is, it still, is it still? Is it still? He uh, came back. Is it still it, correct to say Native American? Uh, is, is, uh, Native American. Not yeah. Native. Is, 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 I thought it was Native uh, American. Are, are what we we grew up saying Indians. No, you can't say that anymore. Right, that's why I say what we grew up. I was uh, determined. Yeah. Is uh, I mean, not. I I, I don't weird, know. Weird, what it call, it's, it's a different word, but I, I can't think of it now. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was a slur for them. I, I, no, I, she was white, and I mean, I, I didn't see and, it, but I mean, yeah, no, she, no, no, but I, maybe he thought she was. No, she wasn't. He, I mean, no, but that's what the only no, thing that would look like. But I'm saying that's what that was a slur back in the day. This is where, it, and, and you might be right, but apparently, excuse mm-hmm. me, I'm, I'm using the wrong word. Visibly, mm-hmm. she looked no native. <laughs> American or uh, any shape, fashion, and form. Bitch is about as pale as the uh, goddamn my my uh, my, <laughs> my my uh, white blankets that I got, you know, <laughs> that that I pull out for uh, for the Christmas linen that you put on the table. Oh, nice, damn! Nice pearly white. <laughs> oh, yeah, dim. Yeah, ain't even dim white. Pearly white. Yeah. The communion table white. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that white. Yeah, no. your lion dog face pony soldier. Whoa. Now he did say. He came back and he said, "That's just a, a thing that he the does." Clip, oh, oh, John was, Wayne. Oh, I thought he was going to say, "Yeah, that's what I'm saying." John right, Wayne. Right. Would so that's that why I said I had never heard that. Yeah. That's, so John you, Wayne would say that you, about the, the you, Native American. You might be right on the Native, but mm. fuck that. Like Pony Boy, something like that, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> that was fighting words to me. <laughs> that's crazy. I thought you were gonna say you went the good Gail King rap. The, the ah! clip was it's, the clip was that. Ah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I, that diable thing was fucked up. Not that I saying that Joe Biden should be president or anything. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Nah, um, shouldn't be. But I'm just saying, I've seen some of the the people who voted or whatever they or signed cards. Whatever they did the thing, yeah, they, some kind of card signing. Whatever they did. They didn't know who the fuck they were actually supporting. Supporting, yeah. Especially, I mean, it's been several. She's in, there's one lady, but she wasn't the only one. She uh, was signed her card for uh, the the gay guy, uh, Buddha, the yeah, uh, Buddha Yeah, yeah, him. And she, as soon as she gave her card over, uh, one of the representatives or whatever found out i mean well i, I don't know how the, the, the text the, the conversation the text came up to his sexual preference i don't know or why it came up because mm-hmm. it shouldn't matter but uh <laughs> she uh <laughs> she found out he was gay so she wanted to change it yeah she wanted to change it oh. i mean which she has a right to right i mean but it's too late it's already if it's been but i'll buy the boys why would you if you know who <laughs> why would you if you didn't know you should know who you 
Sign, you, you should have investigated. Right. Because it's that's the same. And she was an older white woman. Same shit happened before. They, like, that's how you, they voted for a person who was dead. Yeah. A, a senator that was dead. I mean, they don't know. They just, I don't, what, what the fuck? But it was the whole thing. And then, like I say, it shouldn't matter if you was gay or not. I mean, but it, it's still her preference if she didn't want to vote for, because uh, uh, it could be her religious belief or whatever. I don't mean, whatever. I mean, I don't right. know. But uh, I do know I had, didn't the, the representative, I did have a problem with what she was saying. She went to saying, oh, it shouldn't matter if you gay. Well, she was right. But then she, the lady was like, well, she started, did bring up something about the Bible, you know. And, and then, the lady, then the girl was like, well, this is what I didn't like what the girl was said. Well, she goes, well, that was written back in the day. So that, you know, uh, uh, you know, that, you know, these are different times. I was like, whoa, 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 wait, now you're trying to be smarter than God. <laughs> like, you, you, don't, you can't change the word of God because yeah. it fits your, 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 your preference. Yeah. yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Don't try to change the word of God. God, God is omnipotent. Yeah. I'm omnipotent. Yeah. He, he is all power and all. He yeah. knows what's going to happen. Yeah. Don't try to change something because you're saying it's the new time. No, no, no. Now yeah. you went through. Now I'm not, I'm not, I had to let, go off from him. Let me take a guess. I'm being clear for it here. Was mm-hmm. this person that was talking white? Yeah, yeah. That's trying what I'm to saying. provoke their white privileges. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I, I just don't like yeah. when people try to. Oh no, we can change this because we're white, and you have to give me my shit back. And I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. You, no, don't try to change God's word. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they they are all powerful, and and we are white because you know. Therefore, God is under us. That's how the motherfuckers think. Well, I, yeah. Some some people just like to do the at the at the, at the, uh, the high school meeting. Right, well, exactly. he told the, the Hispanic guy, yeah, or yeah, a, a Latino guy. Would, right, he told him, uh, the, go, "Once you go back to Mexico, yeah, it, don't get me started on white people today, Rip. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to have a peace. It's day. that superiority complex. I'm he felt a like piece. I saw. I'm, I'm chiming in, and I'm, I'm sorry to, to, mm-hmm. to jump in your story. I don't know where it was, what campus. I mm-hmm. missed it because I was going through clips mm-hmm. before I came here. But it was a black chick, and she stood up, and the thing said, "Racist." black chick ask white students to get out of the uh, BSU, uh, Black Student Union. Mm. So I went, racist black chick? How the fuck? You can't be a racist black, a black chick. First of all, so a black person can't, can't be, be racist. racist. So no, no, no. that's no. why that's what made me go, what the fuck? Mm. But she nicely, mm. she did it eloquently with so much respect and so nice, nice nasty till I was like, man, fuck yeah, yeah. I was still mad at the white people for getting mad at her, telling her. Basically, she went, you know, this is, I'm just using, and it is not, well, I don't want to use, it's a large Mm -hmm. university. I don't Mm want to say a university, and they coming back, you know, I don't feel like dealing with the lawsuit. Whole point is she went, this is a vast university. Our population on, black people population on campus is less than 7%. And uh, we have this facility hall, Black Student Union. Mm -hmm. For people of our like kind, you white people are invading our space. We feel very uncomfortable, and we would like for you to exit our building and use any of the other facilities on campus. Basically, she was like, "Bitch, it's fifty thousand crackers on this damn campus. We have one building on this campus that's set for Black Student Union, and y'all crackers are coming in here, invade, you know, wanting to use our Wi-Fi and do all this shit. Bitch, get the fuck out and go to the main library." I didn't know it was like that. I mean, I thought you could go. You can. You can you go, go to any. the white union. I didn't know you. You can. You, you saying if there's specific like uh, uh, Hispanic? Black, no, union, no, the black student go, union. You're not supposed to go in. No, the no, you, you can. You, oh, okay. But you can go anywhere. I, I don't really see what the problem was. Why they there wouldn't. was no problem, but they. But the white girl wanted to join the black student union. No, it was a bunch. A big, I mean, what was wrong with that? Sounds like no. She wasn't trying to join. You can't join the black student. Again. You can't. Uh, not that I. Well, I mean, why, I mean, I don't see there's a problem. Why couldn't you? Well, technically, I'm sorry, you, I'm lying. You can join the Black Student yeah. Union. I don't know. Black, if she should be. Union. I don't know. If she should be the president. <laughs> but I mean, she could be the president. But, She's a. If she going if she gonna move the, move it forward, yeah. the culture forward. Yeah. But no, no, it's it's not about joining. They were they were. It, it was the newest a newest building that they had on campus. Mm. A lot of the white people, I guess, was it was convenient for them to come use the internet because you student unions. Are pretty much like small libraries. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying because they just so, built, they, we just got ours just built in uh, US. So, did. yeah, exactly. US, and what I mean, so so, so basically they were coming in there more than they were going to 
uh, the main library more than they was going to Capify Psy, and they were just because it's newer and because it was newer and they had uh, the accommodations, and they like, bruh, y'all y'all got ninety different outlets y'all can go to. Mm. You know, blacks can go there, but it's like we mm. feel comfortable around our people. Leave us well, alone. Eh, I don't know, but well, we just they just built art because because. The black, uh, the the black, they call it the black culture center, right? Not the student union, but it is, uh, it is Same, a student yeah, union. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying the building, yeah, the and it was, center. it was actually. I don't think they to- tore down the old one, but because it's a historical building, wooden uh-huh. building, and Hispanics had the same one. And what happened is, I guess UF wanted to be cheap, and so instead of uh, uh, building two separate buildings. They combined. They them. want to be in the, yeah. They combined them. They want to be in the same area, right? And at first. They wanted to just make it all one, so it would have been blacks and and Hispanic. Right. But then I guess they uh, fucked up. No, they voted against that. I guess. I mean, I wasn't. Yeah. I'm not really. I can keep up with the the, the news nah, up, but I know it was, I know it was the issue. Yeah. And they ended up voting, so they did had to split the building. Yeah. So it is a different half. So I guess maybe they do feel like that. I don't know. Give me my. But heart. but uh, I do know one thing: as black people, we got to stop supporting people who don't support us because do, what they end up doing was Who's that. They end up doing uh, because they reported on the news. They end up doing separate days, so like the black unit opened up first. What? The, the black side opened up first. Oh, okay. And um, but Mondays and Fridays you can come as a black student. The other days you're uh, and it was just lovely black people there to the to the celebration of the opening. Uh, the Hispanic opened up. It was black people there. Hispanics were there. Yeah. Other people there, but nobody came to support them. The, yeah, the, exactly. Wait, why are we going to support we, everybody else in this? We, it's weird. we continue mm-hmm. to, to 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 try and support everybody except for us. But you turn around, you notice we're our, we're our biggest critic. Mm-hmm. We will criticize something that a black person does, mm-hmm. but when a white or some other, whomever it is, does it, oh well, that's okay, and we'll support them. And just like you say, yeah, hey, the- they're they're doing the the open Mexican rally. We'll go over there and, and, and support them, mm. but the Mexicans don't cross that border to support. Mm. And I'm just using these races as you know, you know mm. not specific. I'm just going. We always do that. Yeah, that's what I'm. We'll saying. forget a, the, the, the cracker before we forgive. We, we'll, we'll hold a grudge on, on, on Leroy and family. That's what I'm saying. Oprah's kissing Harvey Weinstein. She's right. not. She's not doing a documentary on prime Gale, example. But but we uh, her and Gail are right. coming at Kobe. Right, a prime example. You know, just so I mean, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm just, mm. don't, don't, you see, you, you start me on this race shit today, bro. I just, mm. Who's up? And actually, I, uh, I don't, that? I remember I was read through the glance, I read it real fast, but there was a a white female reporter, she ended up getting fired. What? Uh, I think I think she was uh for what I mean shall I say? Oh, she was tweeting about Kobe about the rape thing or whatever or something. Oh damn! Okay. Yeah, they end up finding her. Damn, they you need to. It was yeah, up get, north somewhere. She was, yeah, get, you know, she Gail did. was. It was a. She it, tried to it, bring it up after the Gail thing, and it was like yeah. whatever job was like no. Like <laughs> bitch, you ain't gonna fuck us up. <laughs> yeah. Well, just a couple of mentions. I, I ain't mm-hmm. gonna I ain't gonna linger on these stories. Uh, talking. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of a. Uh, Kobe Bryant, R.I.P. 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 Excuse me. Uh, LeBron's. That's where I got my B in. Mm-hmm. It. LeBron's. Uh, in the, their last games that he, that he played, uh, he did the uh, reverse windmill, which was a uh, Kobe Bryant original oh, slam yeah. dunk yeah, yeah. that he came up with. Uh, on like one of, closer to the end of the game, mm-hmm. and he, he did the uh, reverse windmill slam dunk, of course, in honor of uh, Cole. Uh, Cole, and he's on the Lakers now, so that was just like so appropriate at the time. Yeah. I was like, damn, that's what's up. Uh, Lil Wayne, oh. the album, mm-hmm. have you heard it? Did I you like got it? it, but I didn't, I didn't, not all of it. I haven't peeked all of it, just heard a couple of snippets of it, but mm-hmm. uh, it, it, it popped in. It, it uh, hit, I think, number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the the funniest thing, he was on an interview with uh, mm-hmm. Drink Champs. He said he never got paid for any of his mixtapes. This bro got a lot of mixtapes, bro. Yeah, of course a, he didn't. How, how could he get paid? I mean, you know how you, 
you, you, we know how you get paid. How did he get paid? What me saying? I mean, doing shows, but I mean, he get paid. He did get paid because he got to get able to do shows. Okay, well, I'm, that's know. that's your end run. You mean the producers didn't get paid? Well, well, he had a lot of mixtapes where he rapped to other people's beats, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure the producers would like to get paid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the producers didn't get paid, so I don't know. That's bullshit. I don't even know why he's trying to even come that way. No, I mean, he wasn't saying it like he should have gotten paid. Mm. He was just saying. He did you know, get paid, so that's bullshit. Right, exactly. That's why I was like. That's bullshit. I'm like, you may have It's like Domino paid. fucking saying they didn't get paid because they, they ran Super Bowl at commercials. That, it did you. It was paid, what you call it, instant. You, you know what you was doing. It's for it, it, it's promotion, 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 yeah. and they keep you relevant. Uh, speaking of promoting, especially when you couldn't put out an album when you and Birdman was doing right, album. exactly, yeah, and that was and that's what he said. He said he did it for yeah. that because he had no. And that's bullshit. That. I, I don't know why these artists um, are that you brought up. Good. Why is these artists now always coming up with this bullshit, this bullshit thing now? I don't know who started it, but it's, it's not just black artists. But it's it's, it's I, I started seeing it heavy with. R&B artists. You know how when you get ready to put out an album? Yeah. You go around and do the little, the, you tour like he's doing media with the package, podcast. Uh-huh. You do the media, yeah, the media package your managers and right. put together for you. Every artist now has a fucking sob story. <laughs> you haven't noticed that? Yeah. They, really. they, they got some kind of disease yeah. or something. Justin Bieber's mental got health. Lyme disease, mental, yeah, mental health, a drug problem, or uh, they've been raped, uh, right. uh, something... Something they've got something. Every every artist Taylor Swift's got a problem now, but all these busts before you, you were fine. All of a sudden you already put out an album. You, every sudden, album they they've got some kind of heartbreak yeah. story. What the fuck is this? Is that a new thing? Who I guess it must be a new thing for publishers to tell them to do. Yeah, get the sympathy mm. vote. Even uh, I don't know how to, I I've been start watching America Idol years ago, but they're now on um uh, uh ABC now. Oh. So I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they do the, do the audition. I think they don't do the, the full auditions no more. Mm-hmm. So they, I know the, the commercials that they run, they got like, even the Latin one last year was the first, they got like a couple picks that they think will be good. Right. So I guess they don't, they do it different. Mm-hmm. But now when they showing the picks, they've got a fucking sad backstory. Right. One guy's like, I was a garbage man. Other guy was, oh, no, I was living in the projects. Yeah, they, they've always did that like in the, the little things the missus used to watch that a lot. I'm like, yeah, uh, I was homeless and digging out of the garbage, and now I'm, you know, yeah, yeah, fuck that. Okay, anyway, so that's so, what the music industry is getting it from. They still it from America yeah, Idol, yeah, 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 and Corver, yeah. Uh, Every person, especially especially R and B R, they have some type of issue. Speaking of people with issues and uh, mm-hmm. trying to mill and exploit the media, mm-hmm. uh, Jesse Smullett, uh. back up in the news. Chicago has went they and money. slapped, bam, six new charges. What? On his biatch ass. You know, I seen something, but I didn't even pay no attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I uh, seen it. I, I walked off, walked off. Yeah, I mean, basically, they, they said that the, uh, the what do you call it, the state attorney or whomever that kind of said, all right, we're going to dismiss those charges. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got a new one. Did, yeah. And they new, went, yeah, the new, new one reinvestigated and went, no, that was a wrong call, man, judge. And we, we're reinstating. We're not going to reinstate that you're you're black and gay, but we're going to reinstate that you're you're queer. We're going to reinstate that you're half black. We're going to reinstate that you're not on Empire. We, yeah, they, they just came up with some more charges. They came up with six new charges. We've had and, to be uh, lesser charges. Uh, not lesser and or of equal value. Uh, he goes to court. The uh, beginning of March, uh, yeah. they you just know, opened it up. I seen it, and I just figured it was they, oh, they still want their money, like 50 cents, and I just walked off, but they yeah. actually bring them on charge. Yeah. Bring them on charge. Chris Brown mm-hmm. uh, just got a new fat face tattoo of a Air Jordan sneaker on the side of his uh Face, I don't know left or right Man. side, but it, it's pretty much on the uh, the brow, like where your your mustache would come down, and it's a baby uh, Air Jordan shoe. Cocaine, the hell of a drug. Uh, nah, fuck that. Did you see um uh your girl Whew. Amber Rose? I was getting hurt too. I, I told you these were mentions. I'm just popping these and keeping moving. Yeah, that, that Amber that, Rose. Yeah, that what was the, about yeah, that, that that everybody over seen that shit. That that forehead tat. Damn. Why? Yeah. Why? Oh man. 
She just, I oh, think Amber no. just, she just want attention. No, nah, I mean, it's no face tattoos are hot right now. People doing that shit. And yeah, and it, and it was also inspired by Kobe Brown. I mean, Kobe Bryant also. That's what she said in there. Man, I don't pay attention to what the motherfuckers say because it's, 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 it's not, it's 100% bullshit. I, hey. And 100% lies. She living her best life. And you mix that all together when everybody's sick. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, I'm, um, I'm just. One ready. question. Uh, you, you fly, you fly a lot, way more than me. Right. What is the rule, the seat rule? Don't sit by the motherfucking. Uh, no, 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 no. Like, well, don't sit. Uh, like for, <laughs> I, mean, I should have let me think. For uh, well, like, you got me started on for, that. For uh, what's it called? It reclining. What you mean? Like, is, is there a, a, a etiquette reclining rule? Like, how far you should recline? Or nah, nowadays they limp the. The seats only recline so far back. That's what I'm saying. I know that, but it, uh, but, but you cannot. It, I thought it was not not the lo, the rule, but I'm saying is the etiquette you're not even supposed to go that far back. According to what I heard, yeah, it, it is an uh, so quote unquote it? unquote one. You you can't do it while uh, taking off. No, no, not that landing, not that not the rule. But when you uh, etiquette, the the etiquette of it is you're supposed to like most of them has like four. Different, maybe three. Yeah, yeah. three, three mm-hmm. different things. Most of the time, if it's a a, a fat person mm. behind me, I'll only do the uh, One. The, the two. If I'm at a window seat mm. on the very end, I'll take it all the way back. But if you're on the uh, if you're in the center, I'll I'll do one two. I try and stay out of the center. If I do, if I'm on the aisle. Okay, now what if you you if, <laughs> what if okay. My feeling is that the white people out online were saying um, it's one inch. It would be two clicks, right? Yeah, two clicks would be like about a one Okay, so but what if you, you, you've got the seat up in front of the – you know how they got the seat? In front of you. You seat where the guy is uh, next to the, the fuselage thing, you know, the little – he's got the – The head. He's got head the, the wall behind him. Right. I guess that's the fuselage wall. Right. And then you got the seat above him, so you can't really go – Two back with him because he's pinned against that wall. You know what I'm talking about? His still does the three clicks. Though. No, I mean they really pin. Okay, I've never been on a flight that tight. Um, you never seen the seat with the. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so but you're in the seat in front of him, so you really can't go all the way back because he's because he's jammed in there. Okay. Well, the jump seat basically that's what they call it. Okay, yeah, the jump seat. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. The jump seat. That's it. Uh-huh. So the lady, uh, this guy was in that seat, and some a white guy and a white lady. She was, uh, well, she was, I'd be damned. I don't give a fuck about anybody. She went all four on oh, his damn. ass. And this guy was cramped up in that bitch. That motherfucker. So he retaliated. He jumped on her. No, 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 no. <laughs> he should have. He was in the jump seat. He went to boxing them back. He didn't hit her, but he was boxing the shit of her shit. And he was just doing it the whole flight. Bam, 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 bam. And she just sitting there like, <laughs> I, I'm just going to. Ignore this shit. Not, like, not I ignore it, but I'm not moving this seat. I, I'm gonna act like I'm, you, I can take it. Uh, it became a battle. Of, I'm gonna. I'm a. Uh, what do you call it? I'm a. Uh, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a stand on my. It was a standoff. Oh, okay. It was a standoff. Right. Uh, now she did call the flight attendant. Mm-hmm. And actually, the flight attendant uh uh gave her a warning. Yeah, because she was too far back. Yeah, because she was too far back. But she was, uh, I forgot what it's called. And, and it's bullshit, but. Uh, uh, and other passengers were mad at her, too. Wow, now I don't know about all that. But of course, mind your motherfucking business. She went practice. live and on social media, but the flight attendant did give her and was saying she was calling to give her a reprimand for causing problems. Yeah, it's, it, it, and it is funky, and I forgot what it, it is. Like you say, it's more of an adequate thing. Mm. Uh, but all bullshit aside, they can still. Dismiss you from a flight if you're causing too much. Yeah, she almost got that. She got a warning. She almost yeah. got dismissed. And then that's when the other passengers got in because they were like, we're not turning around for yeah. you, seat <laughs> yeah. lady. Yeah, seat uh, bitch. And ironically, her name is Wendy Williams. Was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay. It was a white lady. Okay. Old oh, okay. white lady. Uh, Damn, Wendy. White, the white Wendy Williams. White, the white Wendy. Um, so after the she, she the, the internet, was it was supposed to debate. With white people on the internet, some are agreeing with her, some are agreeing with him. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I think he has the majority, but and then some people started. Oh, I think she's getting death threats. People cussing her out. Don't be on the plane with me, bitch. You know. Right. So she comes up, hits him with the Gail King video. Oh, she has a this place psychotic uh, disc 
Right. So she needs to be reclined all five clicks, not the four, even though they only have four. She needs to take and she needs, so she needs she's, a, she's a, with the sad sob story. Well, sounds like she needs first class seats, <laughs> and that's what the other people were saying. And then, see, so, I, <laughs> that's the adequate. It sounds like you need to be in that, the first class yeah, luxury. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, just yeah. first class because there's yeah, first class, yeah. then there's you, first class luxury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah it was a couple. Take yeah, your broke back yeah, ass up the first exactly, class, bitch. Bitch, yeah, yeah. you need that much space. Get your own rental yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a driver. Leave yeah. the driving to That them. was mentioned. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Juice World originally was sued for 15 million, excuse me, had a lawsuit pending for 15 million. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we reported that. It's been about a couple of months right before the mm-hmm. new year. By a rock group called Yellow Cars. Never heard of them in my life. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Uh, rock band. But the mm-hmm. whole point is that lawsuit has been put on suit because of you know his untimely death, and there is nobody over his estate uh, at this particular point. So the judge has issued a uh, halt to that lawsuit. So, mm. uh, which is you know uniform. Uh, yeah, and I'm going. Damn, at this particular point, I don't want nobody to be <laughs> the joint over the estate. Because as soon as that they get assigned it, they're gonna come back with the lawsuit. Yeah, uh, Drake. Is uh, Drake has teamed up with Caffeine, not to be confused with Caffeine that goes in coffee, Caffeine uh, Media, which is over a lot of the battle rapper, uh, battle rap kind of like Splack TV, Schmack TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's trying to bring battle rap to mainstream streaming, uh, comp- you know, be able to see more of the, the, uh, that. Underground uh, battle rap shows. I think that's a bad idea. I it's think, a good theory. Oh, good uh, I, I, no, I'm agreeing with you, mm. and I think it's such a bad idea. He's teaming up with Caffeine and some other uh, mm. company mm. to stream it. Mm. Why are you not streaming it on OVO uh, stream? Because he has his own streaming company. No, that's not. I think he shouldn't even be involved with battle rap at all. Oh, okay. Because what? It's a good idea. It's a good theory. Right. But it's, it's going to end up poorly. Why? Because we already got so many. The people, the one, the, the, when you put it just by saying, he's not going to be battle rapping. That's the point. But by him promoting and putting me so close to it, uh-huh. people are going to want him to battle rap. They're going to be like, you and Meek need to get, and it's never going to happen. Oh, okay. You, you, you and uh, Pusha T. Yeah. And it's never yeah. going to happen. Okay. And then you also got your boy. What's his name? He always wanted. Uh, uh, your boy, that's in the, no, in the battle rap. He always, he, they don't have beef, but he always want, he, you know, when Drake was going through the little, when he came with back to back, he was like, oh, I, we and him should battle rap. Your boy has been on the battle rap scene. You, uh, Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's been doing a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give it the promotion and attention that people want, but when it, it's like a fight that never happens. And then people, well, will be like, and then people will be like, ah, fuck it. Well, well. Time will tell. I, I, I agree. I'm still agreeing with you. Mm. You know, but hey, it's giving an outlet to you know, you know, maybe it may work out. We'll we'll see. It's like it's like the, the bitch you been wanting to fuck. You been trying to fuck her for years, and you been at or whatever. And then she don't know. Then then then, then years later she call you about it. Well, tell you then you like bitch. I ain't taking you nowhere now. <laughs> it's, like, it's never gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's never gonna happen. Not gonna happen, buddy. Yeah. Uh. Last thing I wanted to, uh, well, two things. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one thing, mm-hmm. which is not of importance, which is just fucked up. That's all I'm saying. This man mm-hmm. is psychologically unbalanced and needs to be put in a mental home. Uh, okay. <laughs> he's just ruining kids' lives. Uh, dude went and bought a used book of, you, have you ever heard of uh, Finding Waldo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He goes yeah, and that buys. Came the, out when I was a little kid. Right. Okay. I, 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 you know, I'm old as hell. That's why I'm saying. Yeah, he came out in the but 90s. He though, I went think. and bought a bunch of copies of, in New York, of the Finding Waldo. Mm-hmm. Went and got, uh, s- screen scanned them, mm-hmm. photoshopped them, took Waldo out, <laughs> went back and pasted it in, and went back to the bookstores and said, these books, he didn't want the books. So now when the next kid buys this book, 
trying to find Waldo. <laughs> Damn. They're going to be mentally distraught. They really going to have mental illness because they can't ever find Waldo where um, Waldo is supposed to be. I mean, I didn't really look that hard. I mean, it was like a weak gimmick for me. And then it was no, like, I, I would, I would, I would look for Waldo every. I was like, bam, until I find him. Next page. Nah, me. I was like, then Waldo better find me. <laughs> so that's why I say that's just fucking wrong. Yeah, that's but fun. that that's just that's a personal thing. On to my last story that I have personally: Jay Z mm-hmm, and his lovely queen Beyonce. Beyonce gets five million per child that she has, mm-hmm. uh, which is set in their uh, their their. I'm saying crazy prenup, but uh, within their prenup. In their prenup. Yeah, this is in the prenup. So every so every child that she has, if she, they did get a divorce. No, this is bim off off rip basically for dropping my seed. She gets five mil. Oh, I thought you meant a divorce because you. Mean, oh, we haven't it, gotten to the. Well, in the case of mm-hmm. here we go, uh, in the case of like I say, she gets five mil for each child mm. uh, that she's that she's had. But well, he didn't even have that much when they got married. So this and the it, it was done back in 08. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh so therefore, if the marriage if hold on, I'm trying to get it and Rena and she gets uh uh and in the chance that they do divorce mm-hmm. before uh two years, which that's already up, mm-hmm. she would automatically get Ten million per child that they have had, so he's already reached that limitation. So, uh, and every year after, up to their age of fifteen, mm. she gets a million dollars per child. So now, what they had three, three kids. Mm. So she, she just off rip. She got fifteen mil for having the kids. If they get a divorce tomorrow, she got fifteen mil off at rip without their shit. Plus, I, how old is Ivy? Ivy is what, like nine seven, mm. seven and nine or something like mm. that. So she got seven more for Ivy. She got two for each twin. So that's. But my whole point is, who calculate calculates your kids like that in a? Maybe because I don't deal. I ain't got money like that. I don't know, but uh, Becky with that good hair cost a nigga some money. You know. Yeah, he all, he almost went broke over Becky with the good head. Man, I nigga, mean here, that nigga was in court. Like I never met that lady. I never seen that lady in my life. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Fuck it is. That. And that, yeah, and that was quote unquote unquote. That's what he had better did. Okay, Jay, you sure? You sure? You positive? That you don't know this person. What? I never met that lady. I never seen that lady in my life. With the New Orleans accent. He, he, done, dropped the, <laughs> he done dropped the New York Sun and went to New Orleans. That nigga would be 90 years old <laughs> doing albums. with <laughs> <laughs> If that would happen. If, if he get a divorce. Woo, shit. <laughs> shit. Uh, that's all I got on my. He be calling R. Kelly in prison. Talking about, let's do this motherfucking <laughs> best of both worlds. <laughs> let's do this over again. <laughs> I need this money, son. <laughs> son. <laughs> Yo, God. <laughs> I, I know you like them young girls. <laughs> but they can't be in out sessions. <laughs> Media Cartel, man. Hit us up, Media Cartel. <laughs> Mix show at gmail.com. All other outlets is Media Cartel. Uh, IG, Facebook. We're going to bring back uh, what I keep saying. Uh, MySpace. We're going we gonna to pump MySpace. We're going to bring... MySpace, put it back in the game. But anyway, in between time, in, te- in between time, shall I say, hit us up, Media Cartel, all other platforms. All you got to do, like, subscribe, and ding, you two will become part of the Media Cartel. It's as simple as that. Ozzy Oz, Mr. Ripper, until yeah, next time. Oh, the, we forgot to evaporate. Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they probably going to tell us to evaporate. <laughs> It's a funny story. We'll, we'll save it for next part. Oh, everybody know about the towel, chick. <laughs> and she had the towel wrapped around. We out, man. It's about that time. Go, let's go ahead and... Uh, so we had to like, evaporate. We'll see you next round. Holla.